Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Squared Design. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a glass card effect in Ping. The frosted glass effect is achieved by using a background blur. The blurring of the objects gives the layout a sense of perspective, almost as if they were floating in 3D space. Before we begin, I have already created a simple radiant background to place the glass card. You can of course use any of the background which you need. So let's get started. I am starting off by adding a rectangle, size of around 640 to 400 and changing the radius to 40. Then with the newly created rectangle, I am applying the fill with linear option. This will give us the sloppy effect. You can reduce the opacity with 40% and at the bottom 10%. Now, for the glass effect itself, we are enabling a background blur. This could be of any value. You can experiment it yourself. Mostly, I tend to keep at 50. This gives us a realistic glass effect. For maximum effect, I am adding a drop shadow. This can give 3D effect as if the card is floating. Setting off some value just to add a bit of variation. Changing the blur value to 20, spread to negative 1 and 20% of black color. To achieve a more realistic look, I am adding a stroke of white color and a linear value. Again, changing the linear direction to add a bit of originality. Finally, for maximum effect, I am adding some of the frost effect to our design. And this is completely optional. I have selected this image from unsplash.com and adding it over the image and keeping the opacity value at 10. To achieve the frost effect. Next, you can add some text, image and logos to wrap up your design, making it look stunning. And that's how you create a glass effect in Figma. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to like the video and subscribe the channel. I will see you all next time.